You may be surprised to know that embracing resistance can make your life a whole lot easier. You see, when two forces are present, something magical happens. Let's find out why. I am Molly Knight Ford, founder of the Awareness School. Today I want to talk about embracing resistance, the third force. There's a lot to talk about regarding force and resistance. Now, when two forces are present, we have the possibility of a third force coming in to make way for ease and grace. Now, Newton's third law of motion comes to mind. For every action, there's an equal and opposing reaction. And we can see this in so many examples. Take steering a boat, for example. The current will be taking the boat in one direction, and when we take the rudder, we push against that current to guide the boat in the direction that we want. If we don't guide the boat, it's under the influences of one force pushing it in a direction. But when we push against that force with an equal and opposing force, we have the ability to steer the boat. Thus the importance of having two forces present to allow this third force to come in. Now the first force can be seen as affirming or an active force. And the second force can be seen as a denying force or a passive or receptive force. And if we look in terms of our own personal transformation, we can work with these two forces to bring about the third force in our lives. You can see these two forces in action everywhere. And within us, we can experience something in our own inner struggle with the yes and the no in any given situation. But when we stay with the yes and the no and are able to use the power of attention and presence, something else happens. Now, you may be wondering, well, which one's the active force and which one's the passive force? And let me give you an example. Say we're riding along and we get a flat tire. We can have a lot of angst about that tire being flat and us being late and having to change the tire. But we can apply an opposing force in which we attempt to accept the situation. And it's often surprising, even with that little bit of effort, something else comes in from the outside and makes it easier for us to deal with the situation just because we've applied that inner friction of accepting. This can also be seen using self-observation as an opposing force to our negative state. Now let's face it, a lot of times we have a lot of trouble releasing our mind from going back and forth about a situation or how angry we are or thinking about how someone treated us or um, how we're going to get even with someone. All of those things are a result of an identification with thought and they produce negative states. But if we use the power of self-observation as an opposing force and stay with the negative state, 
We don't try and get rid of it. We don't try and make things better. We simply sit in the negativity and watch and listen and bring sensation to our body so that we create an opposition that doesn't push it away but allows us to see more. And something happens in that moment and it can be known as the third force. It's a neutralizing force. And we can't have this neutralization without the existence of the two forces together. You can see when we try to get something done and we run into a bit of resistance or we get tired or we, di- we, we think this, this isn't going anywhere, I don't want to do this anymore. But if we, f- we, we push against that with resistance, we find that something can come through and um, we, we move forward with a process. Now, looking at these three forces, we can also see it as the law of three. And in the Enneagram, which is the symbol that I use for the awareness school, you can see that there are three points to the triangle within another figure as a process in which these three points are the points where something else must come in from the outside. It's also seen as a process in which a higher energy can work on a lower energy to actualize the middle. So when you have these points in a process, you have something coming in from the outside and it makes the process go forward. There's so much to talk about the law of three, but I simply wanted to introduce to you how embracing resistance or imposing our own inner resistance on a situation can bring something from the outside to create a neutralizing force in which we realize more about ourselves or we dissolve a negative state through our own understanding and seeing. I hope you find great ways to work with this inner friction. It's alchemy for the soul. Have a great week.